Before BASF acquired Engelhard Corporation in 2007, operations at the former Engelhard facility at 32 Taunton Street caused chlorinated volatile organic compounds, or CVOCs, and other contaminants to be released into the surrounding soils and groundwater. The CVOCs dissolved into the groundwater and flowed northeast toward Sawmill Brook and onto the former drive-in property. In 1998, a groundwater extraction and treatment system was installed on the Engelhard site in order to reduce the flow of contaminated groundwater to the northeast. It consists of a row of six deep pumping wells running parallel to Taunton Street on the west side and a barrier installed in the shallow soils adjacent to them. The system captures groundwater from the bedrock and shallow soils, pumps it into an on-site treatment system, and then discharges the treated water into Turnpike Lake. Because groundwater from the site is continuously captured, diverted, and treated, the volume of contaminated water flowing northeast to the drive-in property has been reduced over time. On-site and off-site monitoring wells have been installed in areas affected or potentially affected by contaminated waters flowing from the former Engelhard facility. These wells are used to measure levels of contamination on an ongoing basis. An illustrated update on progress. We are now looking at three figures illustrating how the levels of groundwater contamination have improved in affected areas from 2006 to 2015. Each figure represents a snapshot in time, showing the concentration levels of CVOCs in groundwater flowing from the facility in 2006, 2013, or 2015. The facility is shown at the lower left of each illustration. The legend at right provides color-coded information about the type of monitoring well installed at each location and the levels of CVOC concentration present in the groundwater on the Engelhard site and surrounding areas. Yellow represents the lowest level of concentration, tan and pink indicate greater levels of concentration, and red represents the highest levels of concentration found in the groundwater. The illustrations show that CVOC concentration levels decreased from 2006 to 2013 and from 2013 to 2015. In fact, since the groundwater extraction and treatment system was implemented in 1998, CVOC concentration levels have decreased fivefold. In situ chemical oxidation. In an additional effort to decrease overall CVOC concentrations in the groundwater in the off site area, BASF has completed three rounds of in situ chemical oxidation, or ISCO, injections of sodium persulfate in off site wells. The oxidation breaks down CVOCs into harmless simple compounds. The first round of injections was completed on the west side of the facility in 2013, and two additional rounds were completed on the east side of Taunton Street in October 2015 and March 2016. The groundwater surface areas were measured for change over time from 2006 to 2015. The figures show that the band or plume of contaminated water has decreased in surface area. As the figures illustrate, the decrease in yellow and tan areas combined, representing lower levels of CVOC concentration, is 36%. The area shown in red, representing the highest CVOC concentrations, decreased 69%. A comparison of the figures depicting the plume in 2006 and again in 2013 clearly illustrates that the area of contamination decreased substantially during that time period, and it decreased further in 2015 after oxidants were injected into wells on the east side of Taunton Street. BASF anticipates that the plume depicted here in 2015 will substantially decrease after the ISCO work is completed.